here for you. So three, two, one, action. Am I supposed to go like this? All right. We'll open up with a fun little number. That was a fun little thing. Now, today, I'm actually going to take a little bit of time today, some time talking about this dashboard here. But before I do, I want to um, talk just briefly about setups. I noticed over the last, I want to say two months, there's been a number of classes that we've taught from uh, the high-end students to the... Um, um, to the mid-range students. And one thing I have noticed is that we, we have spent a lot of time discussing presets. But for this group today, because you either have uh, an EY series maybe, or uh, an EX series, and this even applies to some of the, um, um, actually it probably will apply to anyone that has a virtual orchestra touchscreen model, the pianist and guitarist styles. All right. So, having said that, um, we've talked a lot about presets. We got style setup, you got vintage, and what have you. There's something a little, I think, that was very cleverly done, and it originally came out on the Sterling, and then subsequently on the Patriot and the Liberty, and then basically any model that has setups with pianist and guitarist styles. And I'm going to pick uh, a, a style here, uh, just one of the categories. Now, when I do this, I'm going to see if I could put to the screen here so you could see this. You'll notice that on the E series, that anytime you select a rhythm style, you'll see the one that says Nolens Pianist, Chicago Blues, all right? So on all of the E-series, whenever you select a category, you'll see there it says Latin. And if I go to the next page, okay, there's, you know, so, and, and this is very similar to that on all of the models, the Rialtos, the Inspires, the Marquis, Aries, et cetera, et cetera. When you select a rhythm style, all right, all of the pianist and guitarist styles are found highlighted right here okay so this one is always put into a pianist style and this one is a guitarist now keep in mind that if there's someone on today that happens to have a sterling a patriot an a series models you have those um pianist and guitar styles however they're grouped into two groups on their own, okay? 
what they did on the E series is they because they redid the panel here, the panel and the wording of this panel. You have standards, country, Broadway, et cetera, and then on the marquee and the aria, there's there's more categories. When they redid that, they they decided to put all of the pianists and guitarist styles. Okay, here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that screen up, and I'm just going to go through each, not each. I'll, well, I'll do several. So um, I'm going to put it back to the page one. So here's standards. Here's country, Broadway, etc. You can see, and some of these styles, believe it or not, like awesome piano, used to be called something else on the older series. They turned it into a piano style to give it more of that Liberace style. Now, that's kind of not so relevant to the class today, but I'm going to pick a style here. Let me put on, whoops, let me put on. What was the one that I used? Oh, there it is. So I had the rock and roll piano. All right, now check this out. In most cases, most cases, because I haven't tried them all, any pianist and guitar style that you use, when you, here's, a, here's what I do know. When you put on your, your vintage, okay, uh, style setup and zero position every time it starts off without the drummer and it always has in this case a piano I don't want to get you dizzy but here we go okay and this is Ringo sub there or a guitarist all right what will happen is the initial sound the initial setup is going to be just a piano or guitar setting. So here's that style that you just heard. Okay, that's the intro, but listen to the, ba the background. There's no drummer in there. There's just a piano player. Okay, and, and there's actually a bass line in there. Okay, now I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another style. So you can see me doing this. Let me put on, I think I saw one that said heart songs. Okay, that's, let's put on heart songs. Woo, taking you for a ride. Heart songs, vintage or style setup zero. Okay, now keep this in mind that you have a style setup and a vintage button. Okay, I, right now I'm just using vintage because that works like on all of the E series models and some of the predecessor models, the uh, A, the higher end, the, the Sterling, the Patriot, Liberty, Imperial, Sterling, Patriot, Liberty, Symphony, Imperial. I think those models that have the pianist and guitar styles. Listen to the background again. Here's the intro. So that's, and then notice it's just a piano with a little bit of a bass, but no drummer, not a bow band. All right. Now, let me pick a style that's guitar. This is one that's very commonly used. Let me try to do this without giving you motion sickness. Okay. So you see, I, now I chose the bottom one. Now, some say it's kind of like a brownish wood. Okay. So that represents the guitar styles. And then this is kind of like a light bluish, and that's a piano style, okay? Now I'm going to go back to the Latin guitar. Now in this case, it's a guitar style. So I'm on vintage style setup zero. Whoops. Now, this is kind of interesting because... In years past, zero always gave me without the drum. Now, I'm going to do the style setup zero, but listen. So, 
So you hear the bass and a guitar, the guitar sound. Again, if I'll put on another style here, guitar swing, zero. Just the guitar sound. Okay, now, so the question, if I was sitting on this side, wherever you're at in the world, why is he telling us this? I think I already know that. Some of you probably do. Style setup zero, 99% of the time, okay, on any pianist or guitar style, sets it up with just a classic guitar sound with a guitar background, if it's a guitar style, or a classic piano sound with a piano background, all right? Now, this is what's cool. Again, most of the time, number one and two, while style setup is on, in most cases, will not bring in the drummer, okay? Pay very close attention to that. Now, let's see if it does it in this case. Let me put it back to my key of C. So in this case, I have guitar swing on, which is guitar style. Zero gives me this background and this sound. Okay, now watch what happens. I'm going to leave it playing. I'm going to push number one and you'll hear very little difference and change. Now, I'm gonna go to my gallery view real quick and just take a look at some of the, does everybody, did you notice the change? Give me a second here, I'm gonna change my settings real quick so I can see everybody. Uh, there we go. All right, so. <clears throat> Listen again. Zero. One. It was a little bit of a change, but not drastic. That's okay. Now listen to number two. Actually, one and two are very similar in the background, but what is changing is the sound here is going to change but the background still remains as a guitar background. Or if I do a piano, I'll do a piano one in a minute. Listen. Number one. Now the sound changed, but the background still remains. Okay, so I see about 12 of you in the picture there. I see Marlene, Margie, Janet, Swift. Uh, my actual, where are my glasses? Carolyn, do you guys hear a little bit of the changes in the melody? Okay, do you hear the, how the background kind of stays the same in the background? Now, there might have been a subtle change, but it's not designed to be an explosive change. Now, I'm going to look at you. I'm going to see by your expressions, if you could hear a difference. Now, here we go. I'm gonna go back to zero. Here's one, here's two. Now watch what happens when I hit three. You hear the drummer, the band came in, right? And that is typically how most of the pianists and guitarist styles work. So if you pick a guitar style or a pianist uh, style, on zero, style setup zero or vintage zero, most of the time, zero, one, and two will be just the piano or guitar background, but the melody sound may change. In that case, I got a few different guitar type sounds. There was a nylon string and it sounded like a classical and so forth. Now, here's the part that I want to, hopefully I explain this right so it makes sense. So, style setup zero, one and two, 
will give me a background with just the pianist or the guitar sound. I will have some sound changes, but here's one little, one little thing you should know. Here's another one of those. It happens most of the time. Style setup zero, in this case, sounds like this. Okay? And 10, in most cases, will give you the same setup. The only difference is the drummer comes on, on number 10. Okay? So here's, now I hope this is correct on this one because a lot of the styles, every now and then it's not exactly the same, but in most cases it is. And I, I'll go back to the rock and roll piano one in a minute because I know it did it on that one. But here's zero. Now, I'm going to push 10. Okay, wait, there's the drummer. Everything's the same except the drummer came in. Now, let's hear if the sound's the same. It's pretty darn close. If, it, I, I, if it's a different sound, it's pretty close. Here's the rock and roll piano. When I did it earlier, you'll notice I started off like this. Oops, zero. And I could have just played with that. Now here's number 10. Same thing. The only th difference was the drummer came in, but the sound will be the same. In most cases, that system will apply. So to recap, as I find another style, a pianist and a guitar style, style setup zero, one and two always gives you just a pure piano or guitar background. The sounds will change on zero, one, and two, because otherwise, what's the point of having those presets if they're not changing? Zero and 10, again, this is most of the time, is the exact same setup, only 10 has the drummer, and zero does not, okay? Let me pick one more and see if my theory holds true for this one, I, heart songs. Oh, actually, you know what? I found one earlier that I, th I wanted to hear. Oh, here we go. Southern three-quarter. So here's Southern three-quarter. Some of you might be familiar with it. It's a piano style. Just a piano player. Now, what I'm going to do is go to number 10, because I told you 0 and 10 are the same setup most of the time, but the drummer comes in. Yep. Let me turn it back off. 1 and 2, just a piano background, but the sound changes on the top keyboard. And Melody keyboard, should I say? Sorry, I felt like if I didn't go ahead and play the whole song, I would be 
like I didn't complete myself. So now, by the way, a little, <laughs> a little trick there. I don't know if you saw that, but you know, I, I made it look like I did something fancy. I went. <laughs> you can fool people with that, by the way. It doesn't matter if you hit the right notes. In fact, it, it's probably encouraged to not hit the right notes. If you just hit, if you just do this, that doesn't sound very good, but is, the, the key is to end up on the correct note. Watch. So you can play a bunch of wrong notes and actually sound like you're very impressing everybody. And, and I speak probably very accurately because <laughs> I've seen a lot of artists go do this fancy thing and they're just going, it's just they're creating an effect. It's like a thunder effect with using the organ sound. And it works best with the organ, by the way. Don't do that with a piano. If you do it with a piano sound, it's going to sound bad. So I, I should preface it with that. If you use a piano sound and you do what I just did, it's not going to be good. But organ sounds work because of you end up on the right note. That wasn't really part of the class. That was just kind of a side note. Now, before I go on, <clears throat> I'm going to mention one more thing on this concept that I'm talking about. And, um, and then I'm going to open up for questions before we go on to the next topic. So sometimes we have students that may have uh, fanfares or journeys, those E-series models, those models have style setup, okay? Um, and they have eight setups. And even the EZ-10 has a few setups. When using a pianist and guitarist background, and I don't know the percentage, but a lot of the times, the concept that I just mentioned is the same. Zero, it's typically, a, it's almost always just a guitar piano one and two typically is a very simplified version in some cases it's the same it works the same so in case there happens to be anybody that um, has those models now before i go to the next topic are there any questions whatsoever speak now or forever hold your peace I did a really good job explaining it. Any questions about anything that I mentioned? All right. Now, Bonnie, you put one in the in the chat. It says, does number 10 work the same only with pianists and guitarists? The answer is yes. Zero and 10 a majority of the time on pianist and guitar style is the same setup. Ten brings in the drummer. Zero always starts off without. Okay. All right. So, any other questions? Any raise hands? Any any of this? No. Okay. So we're talking about sounds and melody sounds and presets. And I'm going to go over to panel now. If you have a fanfare journey or a, uh, a Rialto Inspire, um, Marquee, Grand Marquee, Aria, I think I got them all. I'm going to talk about this panel here because we talk a lot about presets and setups. We talk about how you could get the more the more you have the more the the bigger the organ the more presets you have the more setups you have the more combinations of sounds but i do know a lot of our students from time to time they do like to experiment a little bit and i want to give a, a just a little kind of a a brief fyi now i might be teaching some of you something you already know how to use but there's i want to i want to go through this because <clears throat> this is a panel that doesn't get taught a lot and every now and then I'll get a phone call you know I was pushing I had this on and I pushed this pre and I put the sound on and it says there's something there but it doesn't sound like it you know and and usually when you press activate a sound over here 
usually you probably did it, but there was something else that was on at the same time. So now, by the way, uh, I don't know if I refer to it or not, but if I do, if you happen to have an owner's manual, most people have um, a, an owner's manual. I see Bonnie there with her book. Um, one of the things that I noticed, okay. Here's what I, found. I want to say starting around 2012-ish, maybe when it's from, from that point on, I could be wrong on that, but it, it was around that era, 13. Some, a lot of the models had the paperback book, and I can't tell you how many times I had students say, no, I want the actual book, and that's okay. Um, but Lowry also started putting that file on the USB sticks, and we would, we would encourage the students to use that, but a lot of students want the book in their hand. If you happen to have an owner's manual, on a PDF, um, depending on when that organ came out, I believe all the E-series, uh, Rialto, Inspire, I'm almost certain, Marquis, Aria, Grand Marquis for sure. Now here's an example. I have uh, an owner's manual uh, from the Marquis in this case in my books application on my Mac. Uh, doesn't matter if it's Mac or PC, it's a PDF. And you'll notice, um, I see Owen and Carol. Can you see that okay? Okay. So you'll see here, it says a little home button. Okay, this is important. If you have this manual on a computer, since you're on the computer a lot, this is a very helpful tool because you can go to different parts of the manual very quickly without having to flip pages. So like I'm going to talk about this section here today. So if I click on it, it brings me right to that page. Cool, huh? And I have Jerome Johnson here. He's in the background saying, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. He's put, he's doing this. <clears throat> you can't hear him, but he's my, he's my fan club back here. So now here's the other thing. Oh my goodness, I'm on page 85. I need to go back to the beginning. Well, that's what this little home button is. And you click on it, boop, brings you right back to the beginning. So it's a pretty cool thing if you have this manual as a PDF because, and it has this option on here. If you have that option, you can go to any topic. So let's say I was looking at it this way, and it says, uh, what was I talking about? The melody sounds? Let's see. I like the picture because I can just click on that picture. But if I see anything whatsoever that I want to talk about, oh, here we go. This is overview of sound. So if I want to get to that page here, brings you right to that page. I want to go back to that table of contents. Boom. So it makes it very easy to access different parts of the book if you want to learn something. You know, we were talking about the pianist and guitarist. There's some more information about what I just talked about. Okay? So I would get in the habit of using that if you have the file. If you don't, um, the Lowry's website currently has all of the E-series manuals. I might have a, a Patriot one in my arsenal uh, in my file. A Patriot one is nice because... Uh, I believe it works that way, but it'll apply to most of the models that are the, the Sterling, the Liberty, the Imperial. There's going to be some, some things that are not the same, but, um, but it's very intuitive. So what I'm going to do is go back to this page right here, and I'm going to focus on this section right here. Now, I don't know. Let me see here. I'm trying to figure out what's the easiest way to do this. So let me go back to the home picture here. We have a better picture of this organ to the right. Oh, of course, they're going to give me a picture that's. Maybe I can find myself. Uh, 
<clears throat> I don't know if Sean's still there. Maybe you can find me a, a picture of just that panel. Otherwise, I'll just do it on the computer here. All right. So let me go to, let me stop sharing that for a minute. And I want to see if I could find a better picture for you guys. So just hang tight. So that way when I'm referred to it, I can give, get a little close up here. Marquee. 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 All right, well, that's downloading. So what I'm going to do is come back to the, the organ here. And I want to talk about this panel because this is a common, commonly requested topic here. And I'm just seeing if I could find a picture, a close-up picture of that. Probably not, so I'll probably have to just do it like this. All right. Okay, so back over here on this panel. All right. So this is a panel that tends to be used a lot by some, and people get it. This is like the right-hand melody sound. And then there's a lot of people who use this and don't understand what's going on. And then there's some people who don't touch it. <clears throat> and I want to explain it as simply as I possibly can. And actually, I'm going to use technology. I'm going to take a picture of it with my phone. And then I'm going to text it to myself. And then I can pull it up on the screen the things I can think of on the moment. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can do this for you. I'm going to text it to my, oh, I can just airdrop it to my computer. And my computer is saying I got two photos in. Ooh, this might work. Open. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Are you ready? Watch this. Check this out, guys. All right. Do you see that picture there? Owen? Carol? All right. Okay, well, it's better than what you're probably seeing. It's a little closer, uh, close up here. I'm going to hide the sidebar. Okay. Ooh. All right, so here's this section here. All right. This panel, and what I'll do is I'll go from this to the monitor here so you could see it. But this panel works very easily. In fact, I think it's the easiest panel that, Lowry ever designed <clears throat> because some of you may have had I know some of you had an organ or two that you've upgraded over time maybe three organs Owen how many organs you bought three just three or four maybe you can't keep crap oh seven and <laughs> but some of you may remember the prestige if you had it um, in some in the panel over there and it's always got a little tricky with students where what buttons do I press? Do I push the two? Which one's blinking? Which one goes on the bottom, et cetera? Okay? So here's what they did with this panel. They made, if you remember the, the if you kind of remember in the past, the, they made this so that this would have been equivalent to the red and the red and the blue and the blue. They made this panel so that each one stands on its own. And when you select the sound, when you push the sound button, what will come up on the window is the sound that's programmed there. Now here's what you need to know, is it will not change the sound on the keyboard, all right, until you scroll. Now I'm going to explain this and then do it in real action on the organ and show it to you on the monitor. So you have up to four different sounds you can program here, all right. 
So if I want to put a piano here, you just press it and you scroll to a piano. And there's other ways of doing this. You can use your keypad and the numbers and so forth. But let's just do it the most basic way is what most students would do is they press it and they will scroll to a sound. Okay. Or if you want to use your alphabet keypad, you can type in G and then or a number if you know the number. Just remember on the window, when you are searching for sound through your screen, once you get to that where you want it, you have to press the sound button and then it puts it in there. Okay. Now, what happens is once that sound is in there, you then have the choice where you want it to go. And it's just simple. If this button is lit here, it says upper, that sound is going to go in the upper. If you turn that off and you put lower right, that sound will go on your lower right keyboard. The lower left is not very common because you can put it there. However, you have to play full chords in order to do that. The one finger chord does not affect these sounds, okay? So you'll probably find that this is hardly ever turned on by people and you'll never see a setup where this left, lower left is on. I have not seen a preset your setup yet where the lower left is turned on because you have to play real chords. So even if you have your one finger chord system on and it's affecting the lower sounds, if you press the one finger chord and you have one of those on, you're just going to hear the one note playing from that lower left and, and then you're going to hear the chord sound, whatever it's on the lower tabs. Okay? So, let me take off the screen for a minute and let's show it to you over here. Now, here is, before I go on, here is the problem that a lot of students run into that say, you know, I pushed the sound in here and it said uh, piano grand. Okay, so there it is. Or and they have a preset on and they push something there and they go, it said flugelhorn and I changed it to uh, smooth flute. And then let's see what happens. Now that does not sound like a smooth flute. Why is that? Owen, let me unmute you. You may ask, why is that? Why is that? You know, I'm glad you asked, Owen. <laughs> and since you asked, I'll tell you. <clears throat> Here's why. If you happen to have a preset on, a lot of times these presets have these all these combinations happening. So in this case here, I have a flugelhorn, a trombone, and a muted cup with some strings. There's a lot going on in here. So if I touch this one sound and I change it to something else, it's going to be hard to hear because everything else is on. I know I'm changing. It says flute overblow, the overblow flute. I know it's changing it. And that's, if I had to say anything and cost you anything, when you're experimenting with this, keep in mind that if there's a bunch of stuff already there that's on and you switch it, it may happen to you where you're not going to hear it. So what I like to do is if I'm going to experiment with sounds and I want to find individual ones, I'll make sure that I have a setup and a lot of stuff is not on. Okay, so this setup here has... Uh, Here's the southern piano. It has just a piano. I have nothing else on here. Um, this sound here is a piano, and there's a piano. And I'm going to turn that off, and I'll even turn that off. So now I have this. Nothing. Okay? That's actually a good thing if you want to experiment with this. Because now if you pick a sound in each category, you'll be able to hear instantly what you're doing. <clears throat> so... Now what I'm going to do is push the sound button and let me take you for a little ride and it just so happens this is actually great if you want to if you want to do a lot of experimenting and not have the issue that I told you pianists and guitar styles is a good way to start off with because 
What did I say earlier? When you put on a pianist guitarist on style setup zero, it's typically just a pure piano or guitar sound. It's very basic in nature. So it allows you to experiment a little bit. And the purpose of this is to get you in the habit of using that section and make it work for you. What I don't want to have happen is what happens to a lot of people. They have some preset on their strings and there's violins and there's all, and they push a sound and they go, oh, let me see what this piano sounds like. And then they get there and they go, I don't hear the piano because there's all this other stuff that's on. Okay? So right now that's the piano con uh, that's on there, the nine foot grand. And what I'm going to do is right now I have nothing out on the lower keyboard or sound on, I'm sorry, it's selected in that sound button. Now, how do I activate it? By pushing, let me go back to the screen share. Okay, so right now, this sound has that piano in it, or whatever sound I choose, and this is off and this is off this is off so all of these are off actually so having said that the minute i push this upper button the sound that's there is going to activate in this case it was the piano all right let me turn it off see if you can get a shot here like this all right so here's the sound. It says piano. There's nothing there. I touch upper. Let's see what we get. Now you can hear that. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the upper off. If I put lower right on, it's going to go where? Exactly what it says, lower right. Oh, I have other stuff on. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Let me turn that off. That's actually, I was going to mention that. That's why I took a picture of that. Okay, so, oops, nothing on there, upper, let me put it back on, lower right, let me turn it off, now if you notice what happened when I turned it off, the whole one keyboard came on because there's no more split, now if I push in this sound, it says piano concert, concert grand piano, and let me put on something totally different, let's go to What about a sax? Oh, you know what? They had a pretty electric piano there. I'm just wondering if this sounds. It says crystal electric piano. Now that's in this sound here. I don't hear it. So I just simply press the upper button on and there it is. If I want it in the lower right, I just simply press lower right. It's not there, so. Now, if I push upper and lower right, and then it's exactly, it's exactly where it goes. Again, I want to preface this with the best way to experiment with these might be using your guitarist to pianist backgrounds on style setup zero because, or even 10 for that matter, because it generally gives you just a nice piano there's not a lot happening on the right melody keyboard and it allows you some flexibility to experiment now real simply pull up the screen share again and I have right now a in this sound here I have nine foot grand piano and on this sound here I have a crystal electric piano. Now, if I want, I can put them both on, and now I do that, simply push up on both. And now I have them both on the upper, and then I can choose one on the bottom, one on the bottom, together in the bottom, however combination. So, I see a hand raised. Carl, go ahead and unmute yourself. Where are you, Carl? Oh, 
I don't know. It's Can you hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I can't get my picture on there, so you have to go without me. <laughs> That's okay. I could hear you. You have a question? But, no, I didn't have a question. I didn't raise my arm. Oh, it says your hand's raised. Oh, well, maybe I pushed the button, which said that. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll lower your hand. There you go. Any other, any questions about anything I've talked about? Yeah, I have yes. one. Who's yeah? Ken. Ken, go ahead, Ken. Ken Whaley? Yes. Go ahead, Ken. Okay, on, uh, on the uh, sounds for the uh, left side on the chords, you said that if we, if we put a sound up there, if I got to remember now exactly what you said, but if, okay. you, put a, if you put a sound uh, down there and then you have to uh, play the whole chord. Okay. But what, if, but what if you use MCS plus? Okay. That's a good question, and I'm going to touch on that again because this is where it gets a little tricky for some, some students, okay? You have two ways of getting left-hand sounds. One way is 100% of the time the most common way. The other way is the way I pointed out here, which is very rare except for chord players, okay? Now, if you can kind of see, actually, let me pull up this screen here. And let me pull that back up. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take another picture because now I know how to do this. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this. Okay. I'm going to bring up another picture so you can see the difference. Give me a minute, and I'll toggle back and forth. Okay. So right now, this is the panel on the right side of the organ, okay, that you're looking at. This, for the most part, is used for melody sounds, the right hand, okay? In fact, you'll even notice here the solos, only give you the option for the right hand. So these sounds are typically used for the melody, your right hand when you're playing the song. And most of the time, like 99.76777% of the time, and I might be off by a percent, <laughs> these upper and lower right buttons are the only ones that come on whether you're using presets or you're doing it yourself, okay? The lower left is reserved to put the sound in your lower left. However, MCS will not affect these sounds. So if you have the MCS or the easy button on or whatever, and you have one of these sounds on, it will not turn it into a three finger chord. It's meant to be played manually. Now think about your melody for a second. When you play your melody, we typically play one note at a time. If you're a chord player, you do it. And then there's a whole section harmony for that. But these, what, what, I need, what I want to make sure that I'm very clear in saying is the lower left on the right-hand panel here, this panel is not affected by MCS. Okay. Now, all right, now. I'm going to stop screen share and I'm going to screen share another picture I took. Is that the right picture? Is that the same one? Looks like the same one. Give me a second. That, 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 that one. Okay, do you see that there? This is, the, this is the left side of the instrument. So you see all of these sounds here, lower sounds, strings, flute, organ, all of the stuff that has to do with the left hand. Everything in this section is affected 
by your easy button in your MCS. Okay. So if you pull something from the right hand side, I'm going to go over here so you can get it over. And this is, this is even though I'm playing on, on this instrument, this applies to almost every model <laughs> that has these options. These sounds here are, t are meant for the melody sound. You have the option of putting it in the upper or lower right, and then it gives you that lower left option. If you put the lower left down here, your MCS will not affect that. These sounds here, or anything that says lower here on this side, deals with the left. They typically separate. Right hand's for the right hand, left is for the left hand. These sounds here are affected. So here's an example. Okay, now what I'm going to do, turn down that bass a little bit so you could hear. Now what I'm going to do is put on a, a string sound and turn it up. All right, do you hear that string sound come in? Let me turn it off. All right. So there's a string sound playing a one finger chord. Now watch this. I'm going to put on the piano from here to here. That's only one note. So the MCS is only affecting what I have here, not here. Now there are some people out there that play their own chords. They'll turn off the MCS and use but you have to play the three note chord if you want the full sound on there. <clears throat> Very few people do that unless they have that skill. A lot of the artists do it, the Marco Mendez and so forth because they have the fingers that they can do that with. That was a good question. Any others? None whatsoever? All right. Um, before, I hope you enjoyed the class today. I'll finish off with a little number here for you. I'm going to have a little fun with this song because uh, before I go on, John Stremming, do you have a question? Your hand's up. Um, the, you have the four right-hand uh, panels and the two that are called solo. Uh, what's the difference between those and the one that says orc? Okay. So the solo is only allows you to play one note at a time. Those okay. sounds, when you have them selected, if you play, play a note, like let's, let's say even if you put on a piano sound and you put on a piano, and then let's say you decide to play two notes, it'll only play one note. Even okay. if you use the harmony and you have that piano on in the solo section, it'll only play one note. The orchestra, <clears throat> The or orc, orc one orchestra, orchestral is what it's, it's short for, allows you to play more than one note. So you can play the one note. If you want to play two, it'll do two. If you do three, it'll do three. I'm not a chord player in my right hand. Well, if you use the harmony, then it will affect those. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now, I've got um, one little fun thing I'm going to do here. I'm running short of time, and i got another thing have to do, but... This might be kind of fun, if I could find it. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'll have to save it for another time. OK, well, I'll save it for another time. But um, anyway, I'm going to uh, finish up with a, uh, um, a, uh, a number here and have a little fun with this uh, song here. And before I do, I'm going to give some quick announcements and um, a couple things. First of all, um, we have this week on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, our weekly variety class um, is going to be taught, I believe, by Jason Bontrager. And 
Um, again, I'm gonna, if they have handouts, I'm going to tell them to put it in the chat so you guys get in the habit of doing that. It would be kind of fun. Um, and then also, um, I've got something that I'm going to share with you, and I'm going to ask you to spread the word a little bit because <clears throat> As many of you know, Lowry stopped, uh, Kwai stopped making the Lowry product line. Um, but every now and then I'll run into someone that says, do you have any pianos or digital pianos? Or do you have a, um, uh, do you know, or you know, I used to play piano. And uh, Lowry kind of had a, a virtual orchestra that basically worked very much like their instruments, only it was designed to be a, uh, a piano slash, you can play it as a one finger. And some of you may have seen it. It's called the Easy P7 Piano. It looks like that. And just really gorgeous. And on the dash here, it has all of the, a lot of the styles that we're used to. And actually, they can be plugged in and out to the, some of the other uh, instruments. I've had some people that have this and connect it to their organ. Uh, every now and then, I meet a student that I used to play piano once upon a time. And now I play the argument, I kind of miss it. So some people have a piano and, you know. Um, this instrument is cool because it actually works like a piano, has the weighted keys. And, uh, and then if on the top keyboard here, if you decided to, uh, what's really cool is that if you decide to play a style, maybe you want to play a, you know, three finger chords or if you want to play rhythm, you'll notice it actually has all the styles that a lot of us are used to. So it still works like a virtual orchestra. So if you know anybody, spread the word. We have, uh, the reason why I'm saying that is we have a line on someone that we can get a handful of these that are really neat because I, I know a lot of students have had an organ and a piano in their home if, because they are a piano player. Um, and if that happens to be you, spread the word to yourself your husband or spouse or yourself and say, I should have one of those next. It'll complement my aria just nicely or my marquee. Or if you know somebody, nowadays a lot of people are taking up the hobby of music, whether it's a guitar or a saxophone or piano. Um, we can get our hands on a few of these um, or John Riley can. And so just, you got me email, you can reach out to me, let me know, and then uh, we can go from there. Um, last but not least, this Friday, speaking of John Riley, we are going to have our seven artists. You probably saw the email already last Saturday. I'll send out a reminder or two. We're going to have a seven artist performer um, event. We're going to have one person from each store. You saw the email. We're going to have Don from the Villages. We're going to have uh, um, Brian Lewis from Sun City Center. Joe Fontesha from our corporate office, Sean Maloney from Mesa, and then three people that have not done the Zoom musicals before. We're going to have um, uh, uh, Andrew Leach from our Osprey location, Victor, who's a, a relatively new staff member here at Tucson, uh, who actually is, picks up on, he's been here for less than two months and he's learned all these songs in, in an instant. And then uh, some of you, a lot of you may know Carrie Price and seen him in the bus trips. So he's going to be, and we just did a sound check with him yesterday, and it's going to be hosted by John Riley. He hopes to see you all there. He's got some uh, wonderful messages uh, to, to um, say to you, thank yous, and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, we're going we're gonna to kick off the, the early part of the month celebrating 115 years in business, and we thought it would be only fitting that... Um, we have uh, seven artists, one from each store, and uh, John will be it's gonna, looking forward to doing that. So uh, we hope to see you there. And uh, last but not least, uh, I'm going to play a song here. But before I do, Carolyn, did you have a question? Your hands up. No? Okay. So I'm going to move on, and I, yes. Can you hear me? I can now. Okay. On uh, the, when you keyed in uh, piano, 
on uh, number one, Orchestra Plus and Orchestra One and Orchestra Two. Now, can't you uh, put uh, the piano on the solo upper and lower? Yes, you can. Have you can you do any sound that's in these sound buttons here. That's with the same time, at the same time. You can, do, you can put four pianos in there if you want. You Thank can, you. That's what I want to know. Any okay. sound you have on these, they access all the same thing. The difference is Does it going sound back, the same? It'll sound Does the same, sound absolutely identical. The only difference is referring to John's question is if you put in the solo, it'll only allow you to play one note. Okay. Other than that, it'll sound exactly the same. In fact, uh, in fact, when I may find this style here, there's a piano style that I'm trying to find. Uh, and Crystal? I knew where it was on the previous models. It's called 6-8 piano, I thought. Unless it's called something else. Let me see. No, not society piano. It's called, I think it's called 6-8 piano. So let me put keypad. Oh, it may not be on here. That's why. <clears throat> it should be. I hope it's on here because I had some fun with this one here. Style list. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, bear with me. I really want to show this off because I kind of have some fun with this. Are you still looking for 6-8 piano? Yeah, but on the Rialto. If you go to keypad and go to I numbers. I did. It wasn't there, so I'm, I'm wondering if it's not on here. Blasted. Well, that's a fun style that it would have showcased because it's actually a it it's a six eight style can be counted as a three quarter. It so actually counts more. a three quarter, but you can play four four uh, songs with it. It's under more. Which organ are you on? The aria. Okay, no, I'm not on the aria, so I don't have it. You have a more, so, more button I don't, number one. I don't have it on this one. Sorry. So you'll just have to hear a different song that I'm going to play for you. Anyway, I'm going to close off the class today with a number for you. And we'll put on a piano style here. We'll pick a different piano one. And let's do something like, uh, uh, well, that's, uh, here we go. This is a nice one, piano bossa. So piano bossa nova, which normally sounds like this. Okay, or I'm going to, you can do it this way. Or you can do it like this. Now, in this case, it puts just the piano sound on here. So let me see here. The sound is called the nine foot grand piano. So the Carolyn, so here you go. The nine foot grand piano is a number one sound. And what I'm going to do is put keypad here and put one and hit sound. So here's the piano over here. Mm -hmm. And here it is over here, exactly the same, okay? So it'll be the exact same sound no matter what. Just it'll only allow me to play one note here if I turn this off and, oh, I have this on. It only allows you to play one note. That's the main difference. Now, if I put it back over here, then I can play more than one note. And if you're not a chord player, that's okay. And I'm going to play a song that <clears throat> most of you may not like, but what I'm going to try to do is give it a little flavor with some different chord changes in it. So let's see what we got here. Here we go.
Thank you. Well, thank you. That was Mary Ann done to make it more enjoyable. And uh, feel free to unmute yourself if you like. If you have anything you'd like to say, parting words before I hit the leave and end button. Great. I want to it's thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, we hope Robert. you enjoyed the and class you today. Did. Good job. Thank, thank you, Robert. Robert. Yep. I'm going to quiz you all the next time I see you. <laughs> so good notes. Bye. Thank you for Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Robert. Robert. Sue, Robert. I know you're on, so next time I ask Robert. you a question. All right. All right. Hey, I learned a lot today. I did. That was a great class. Thank you, guys. Great class. See you real soon. Bye. Keep playing music. Stay safe and good morning, good night, good evening, and good day. Bye bye.